Um, not so easy to say in a few words, but I guess Nike Academy, I would say, is built on a team structure. We believe that the, the Nike Academy has to have a very clear way of playing. So in possession, we like to play through the thirds, we like the goalkeeper to have good distribution, to keep possession, to be patient, but also to have penetration. You understand? So it's always a balance, you know, and out of possession, We've got to show a good desire to win the ball back uh, with real aggression, not to foul, but to you know real intensity when we work. As you saw with the academy players yesterday, there's, a, there's an intensity to, the, to their work. And then when you win the ball back, calm, composed. So fire and ice, you know. It's, 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 uh, but also we love individual expression. You know? Yeah, I mean, for, for, for several years now, Barcelona have been the team we all aspire to be. You know, we've been to the Masia and we've trained there and we experienced the coaching there as well. So, of course, they have a, a huge influence on myself and, and the players as well, you know. Um, but as well, you know, we're not Barcelona and we have to do things uh, that's right for the, the squad. So we always evaluate uh, what players we have in the academy at any time. So for the last six months, we haven't had a striker. You know, so you have to adapt and play a different style. Maybe like Barcelona, play with a false nine. You know, so for us as coaches, it's interesting. But of course, if we see strikers today that we like, then it can influence the formation we're going to play. The formations will change, but the philosophy hopefully stays the same. They, they all learn English uh, as the common language as well. Obviously, being based in England, so we have uh, language tutors with us. Um, and it's amazing, I guess, because uh, the, you know, the, the culture within the group is strong. There's always somebody that can influence or, or translate as well. So the, the Spanish goalkeeper speaks several languages. Vadiel, our centre-half, speaks several languages. Unfortunately for Maxim, he's the only Russian. So the Russian language is more of a problem. But his language is improving very, very quickly, you see. So um, it's, it helps create the bond when they all have to talk to each other just to explain what the coach is saying sometimes, you know. So yeah, it, it, it generates greater uh, unity with the group. Well, within the academy we, we, we work a lot on not only myself and the staff giving information to the players uh, and hopefully them learning that way. We put responsibility on them to look at the best players that they see. You know, so if you're a left back, who's the best left left back? What type of player are you? If you're a striker, who do you want to be? So really model their behaviour, their performances on this player. You know, and take responsibility. So every game we think in advance. The players are thinking about how they're going to play, what they're going to uh, take into the game. They play the game. They watch it back on the videos. They then reflect on how did I play? Did I play as well as I think? I have to rate myself now, the coaches give me some feedback as well um, because that's how we learn, you know, and we learn through practice, we learn through watching, we learn through thinking, you know, we learn through many, many different ways, copying other players as well and, uh, uh, you know, that, that, that's the thing. So wherever you are, you can always learn so long as you've got to be pretty honest with how, you, how you're doing, you know, if you think you're doing great and you're not, that's a problem, you know, but also sometimes we can be our worst critics as well, so it's just having a good balance. That's a good question. I don't have too many. I, I like Ronaldo. I think he's got a good confidence, and it's backed up with his qualities. You know, he and I think he he's selfish, but he plays for the team as well. He's a good balance, you know. And yeah, his goal scoring record is phenomenal, really. You know, and I think he's an all round. He's good in the air. You know, technically incredibly strong. And I look at him. Some, I know the guys at Manchester United, and when he was there how much work he did uh, to develop himself, you know, so he came at a young age determined to be the best player, you know, and he's taken that to Real Madrid and wherever he plays he's a real desire to improve. Yeah, you know, it's, it's his life, you know, and yeah, he, I think he'd, he will look back when, in many years when he's finished and say, yeah, I did everything I possibly could to be the best player in the world, you know, and we can all do that, only one can be the best, you know, but I think we can always look back and say, yeah, I'll give myself the best chance then. You're going you're gonna to be true to yourself.